okay so this is a video demonstration of how the school software works so we are starting with the admin dashboard and um, first when you log in and this is the dashboard and then this will appears on the dashboard and um, there's a menu on the left where you can uh, click and then get access to the features of the software so first, let's start with the add students so first you click on add students if you want to admit a student and then the, um, the form comes up so here you have the academic year the admission number the admission date and um, the branches and then the classes and then here you have you have the students list where you can enter the first name last name and those other things uh, here too you can enter the guardian details as their parents their transport and then hostel and then if they were in a previous school too you can enter that now with the system it generates the the parents login and then the students login automatically so once you fill the form a login will be generated for both the student and then the parents so that they, they can use it to access the software anytime they want to okay so there's also the option for online admission in case you want to put a form out there for your um, students to go to your website and then up, um, fill the online form you can use this um, section as well now if you want to import it to from to uh, maybe you have a CSV file that you want to import the student's information from you can use the uh, import feature and then the category so usually students are placed in categories so here you can add a category so it may be in this case we have the day and then the boarding category okay so after that you can come to the students list now um the students list the software allows you to have multiple branches so if if in your case you just have one branch then it's just one branch if it's multiple branches it will show in there that you have multiple branches so in this case we just have one branch we click on that and we click on we select the class so we have these are the classes that we entered you, probably yours might be different so you can enter those classes that might work for you then here you have the section so let's maybe let's, let's just select one class and then we, we select a section so section a or section b and then we, you click on the filter and then it will give you the list of students in that class so here you, you see that the, the if, if you've uploaded a picture it will show here the name of the of the student their class the admission number the age and then their, their parents name and the fee progress so it's here showing that there, there hasn't been any fee payment made yet school fees um we have fee type so let's go to the fee type fee types are the items that come up to make a, a, a fee group so these are the let's say you have um feeding fee boarding fee pta computer fees maintenance all those are fee types and then a fee group sums up the fee types to form a group so you realize that here crutch 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 has first 10 fees feeding fee pta and this and that and then it becomes a a group so let's leave let, let's 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 try and create a group right now so you select the branch maybe i, I let's say um crutch um second term fee group then here you can add a description to it so here i'm selecting the fee types that will apply to that particular class so in this case we have maybe pta we have feeding fee um, and then let's say maintenance and then let's say computer so the due date is the date that the fee will be due so we can select maybe a, 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 a date in the future or starting the starting on the current date that you are, you are setting the fees so in this case let, let's make it a day after so the same dates for all of them and then here you enter the amount of the fees so let's say okay so I think I've selected one fifty and then um, two fifty. Okay, so the computer fees also should be let's say sixty. Then you save. Mm -hmm. So with this you realize I've created another figure. This is this is it. 
uh, then I can use that so let's say okay you can so here here too you can use you in, in case you want to set up a fine maybe when when they delay in paying the school fees whatever fine is supposed to be given to them you can use the fine setup then you can use fee, fees allocation to apply fees that you've um fee groups that you've, you've generated here to a particular class so let's go to fee allocation to try it and see so in this case i'll go to then i'll select crutch then i'll select the section then i'll select the fee group i think i created a new fee group this one and i'll click on it So I'll select all the classes that I want to apply that particular fees to all the students in that class. Maybe there are certain students that that, that, that particular fees might not apply to. So on that you you uncheck it. With that you uncheck it here. And then, but in this case it applies to everybody. So you just click on and then you save it. And then all all, all the all the students in that class will be will be built with that particular um fee that you created. So if, if if you want to make fee payment, you come to fee pays and invoice. So you come down, come to that side. You, um, you click on uh, uh, the, and then you select the section. Okay. Okay. So when you want to make fee payment, you click on pay fees. You select the branches. You select the class then you select a section so if, if you can select all sections or just a, a, a or b it depends on what you enter into the system so okay so it gives you the list of students in that class and it tells you here to tell you the status if they've not paid their school fees or they've partly paid so let's say we are collecting fees for let's say Messi Arta you click on collect fees and then over here it opens a page where you can it tells you that all the fee types have, have not been paid and it gives you the grand total of what they are paying the paid is this the fine if, if if you have a fine you can define it in the system by using the fine setup so it tells you that the balance is 660 okay so let's say we want to make payments we just click on collect fees and then we select the fee that you want to pay for so let's say the payment i put it will tell you here if they are paying by you know, whatever means then if you want an sms to be sent to their parents for the payment as well you can either check or uncheck it so this time we'll keep it checked then you click on okay so let's say we want to make payments we just click on collect fees and then we select the fee that we want to pay for so let's say the payment i put it will tell you here if they are paying by you know, whatever means then if you want an sms to be sent to their parents for the payment as well you can either check or uncheck it so this time we'll keep it checked then you click on fee payment so here once once the fees have been applied uh, when you come to the the fees and invoice the due fees it should, it should show up here okay and then here you can set up reminders and um, maybe um, after the due date or before the due date you can send reminders before the due date or after the after the due date so here you can add a reminder you select the the, the, the school branch and then before so let's say maybe if the due date is, is maybe 10 days or maybe a month to the time when you entered it into the system you can say that okay when is five days close to that um, that that set date it should send a reminder either by sms to both the student or the parent to remind them that oh, they are supposed to come and make fee and um, fee payment and you here you can type your message as well and then you save it and then the system automatically starts sending them reminders when it's time okay so let's come to the class so over here you can enter your uh, classes here okay so you can see that here we've entered a few classes and yeah, you can continue to add yours as well and um, you can assign a class teacher so we've assigned one already but here over here you can see that it allows you to select a school branch you select a class you select a section and then you select a teacher and then you save it and then the, the teacher will be assigned to a particular class over here too you can add when you come to subject you can add 
your subjects these are a few that we added you can always use this to add much more subjects whether it's a theory or a practical subject you can just use this section as well and then you can assign subjects to classes so here you can see that crash has these um, subjects assigned to them if you want to do you just use the assign here and then you click on the school branch you select the class you select the section then you select the subjects that apply so you as you select it allows you to enter multiple um, subjects and then you just save it and then you realize that the, the school the, the particular class will have these subjects available that you can, that should appear in the terminal reports and then the exams as well so you can assign a teacher also to a particular um, subject you just click on click on that and then you start selecting you select and then you save as well a class schedule is like a, a timetable so here you can create a timetable for for each class so you use, use the filter okay we've, so this is just, there's no schedule but you can click on add schedule here then you, you select the select the class okay so you select so usually schools are from mondays to let's say friday so you select on monday and then you click on filter so like to give you a form a first form to fill so let's say english then the teacher is the teacher then the time the subject starts and then the time it ends so let's say in this case we are starting it maybe at um eight okay so let's say 8 a.m and usually most subjects end like uh, take about one hour so let's say it ends at not easy, so it ends at 9 30 a.m a.m okay so we have in that classroom one and then you add more so the next one will be from and let's say maybe 9 40, 40, then you end at maybe 11 so that's stay in classroom one then you save it so let's say in, in that day they are just having two two subjects for for monday you just save it form to create for Tuesday as well you do that and then use the same form to create so you can use that to create timetables for all of, all of the days for every class and then it will be in the database as well okay, so here it allows you to promote students from one class to the other but then when you come to live classrooms so, um, you can using zoom you can enter a live classroom and then do a schedule where students can log in and then um join classes that are going on from from a, um, a particular um, um, from a particular teacher so over here too you can have your parents list and then their logins as well then here you have your employees list and the employees these are people who work in the school so maybe your teacher your office administrator your accountant all of these people you can create logins for them yeah, using this section and then you can deactivate their logins as well over here it allows you to do hr and payroll. so here you can have your salary templates okay so that is one that we created you can create multiple here so you let's try creating one so you create so let's say this is uh, school teacher yeah they are basic salaries let's say 600 yeah what time per hour is maybe 50 ghana 60 ghana then here you enter all the allowances so transport allowance 
and uh, maybe clothing allowance maybe 200 maybe feeding allowance 150 okay then reductions maybe snits that maybe you have a loan or something like that then you just mm -hmm. okay so over here you see that the calculations are made with the total allowances the total deductions and then the net salaries here and you just save it so it becomes a template that you can use to pay all the students the teachers that match that particular category so you can salary assign here so you select whether it's a teacher and then you select which designating okay so here you can select which which salary template to apply so in this case we are using the school teacher and you save mm -hmm. so salary payment yes, select the uh, select the rule this case teacher for this month you click on that and it will tell you that it has it has it's unpaid so if you want to pay this particular teacher you just click on pay now and then it will generate the, the pay slip mm -hmm. so this it just click on paid the pay via it will tell you with cash whatever whatever payment method you use to pay the teacher you do that and then you print out your pay slip okay so let's come to um salary advance and then you can use this one for salary advance for leave whatever leave it is you, you create the leave categories with whether it's paid leave steady leave or whatever leave it is you create all of them then you manage them here so over here too there's it allows you to do school accounting so you can open school accounts and um, maybe usually it has to do with the and then your deposit, your expense, and then your voucher heads. And then with the financial reports, you can get your account statement, your income reports, expense reports, your tra transition reports, your balance sheets, income based and um, expense and um, tables. You can get those all those here. So let's let's say maybe we want a balance sheet. Click on the balance sheet. You select the school branch. Mm -hmm. So in this case, this is the balance sheet that we have. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you come to attendance as well. Now attendance, the student attendance, employee attendance, and then exams attendance. So student attendance. and then the day so I think every day has its own attendance for which you can mark so over here you have the option to mark it mark every student as present absent holiday or late and then you add your remark so for these it applies to students it applies to employees it applies when it's when it's an examination time as well so you can set that then when you come to exams too we have the exam term the exam hall the distribution and then the exam setup so these ones allows you to allows you to set up your examination and then for students to also um, lo 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 log in and then write their exams so for this you can do an exam schedule just like a, a, a timetable but this time it's an exam timetable mm -hmm. and then you set your marks as well your grid range your mark entries over here as well and then when you come there you can create the exam term so let's see you can create an exam term this is maybe third term exams crutch let you save it And go to the exam hall
so you select the branch the whole number so maybe if it's all maybe all 12 then the number of seats maybe 200 so you save it and then you come to the distribution so you select maybe um, general exams general and of ten exams so you save that okay so the distribution distribution can be the name so let's say um we have you come to the exam setup you create an exam so you select the school branch the name of the exam so let's say third ten and and of ten exams select the ten this one select the exam so you are doing max and grade so exam type is a max and grade so the distributions so you select classwork, exam work, and then the terms, and you save it. Okay, so then you can come to your exam schedule. you can enter the the date of the exam the time it starts the time it ends the hall that they will be entering and then here yeah, you can enter the the full and then the pass mark 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 mm -hmm. so with that you can do your grading from here you realize that this is the distribution that we added so if your school has a different type of distribution for the um, examination you can just enter it there and it, it would appear here to allow you to enter your the full mark for that particular um, um, exam and then the pass mark so that it can determine the grading for you and then over here you can come and add them the marks and then the grade range as well so that with that the system will use that to calculate whether it's an a it's a b or it's a c or a d or something like that so once you're done you just save it and then so let's continue to mark entries so <laughs> okay so let's, let's just enter the exam schedule
this is an ex just an example so you whatever your school um, does as a as a full mark and then a, a pass mark you can just enter that one and then you can use that so for homework let's say you are using 20 pass mark is maybe 15 So let's say I'm so crap, say so maybe 15. Pass mark is maybe 10. So you enter that. Okay, then you save it. Okay, so then this has been saved. You can come to schedule. So that, that is what we have. Yeah, you can view it, and it, 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 it is the exam schedule for. You can you can even print it and then and then paste it, and for example, anywhere in your school or somewhere. So you can add after the schedule. You just come to mark entries. Select the exam, the, the class, and then the subject so let's filter that okay so all the class you realize that these are the distributions that we did and at the top the, the full marks have been assigned to every distribution that, that, that we entered so this is flexible you can you can enter whichever works for your school so with, with this we, we selected a subject so yeah you, you enter the, the mark so if it's 40 if maybe it's called or maybe 38 has been saved so these are the mark entries for subjects um, now the, the, for these the, the teachers can also log in and then do their own um, in, the, in the system okay so once you've saved it you can use this to print their assessment as well but let's come to the grade range so here to you create a grade range and then you select so um, let's see grid points um, from grid points this one the minimum is maybe 85 then maximum is 100 percent the mark will be maybe excellent Um, you have 
at the minimum let's say it's from 75 to 80, 84 yeah, market very good you save it mm -hmm. okay so um, i think this this time we use so you just let's use uh, the grid point two instead of b So you can enter all of them as grade point and then the system will use the minimum and then the maximum percentage to uh, uh, determine whether it's an A or a B or if it's a one or two. Just like that. Okay, so that's how come that's how you set up your examination system so that the system will know how you grade your students and then you can use that to generate their uh, class assessments and then the terminal reports as well. reports you can have your few reports your few reports receipt reports due date reports fine reports you have your attendance student reports employee user reports exam reports you have your HR payroll payroll summary leave reports examination and uh, report card and then your tabulation sheets which is your um yeah I think we we call it here uh, um, your <laughs> as, 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 um, assessment assessment sheet okay so coming down you have your attachment the books your card management the id card student id card the employee card the admission card and all, the, all those ones you can generate all of them here and the certificates if you have any particular certificates in the school that you are you, you give out you can also design them here and then give it our template for your um for the sms whatever message you want to send you just create and the sms here, template here. and then here you can use to send sms or email you send and you have your reports as well so here you can create your campaigns and then you you, you send them and then it requires an sms integration so with that anytime you want to do you can have it done for you and then you just do your, your integration so yeah this, this is a complete uh, software that allows you to manage your school fees your terminal reports exams your subjects and um, teachers can log in and then um, have live classes with their with their students and um, they can send um, a homework through the same app um, software then the students also get get their homework in their system when they log in and then um, get them done and then send them back so it allows for multiple users and um, parents can log in to get their school fees uh, reports of their children they can get their terminal reports as well so students can also log in to access um, live classes and then also get access to their reports as well So supervision if you have a hostel that you want to manage you can use this hostel master to manage them if you have transportation too, you can use these ones to manage your transportation your library you can use this section to then your events yeah, and then your SMS so here you can enter templates for your SMS templates maybe